Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to graph a parabola. This topic is under the pre-calculus or the conic section wherein ang naging discussion ko noon is on how to graph parabola. And recently, nakapagbasa ko ng mismo comment na kung saan, Sir, what if ganito po yung mismo given equation? You have y squared is equal to 24x wherein yung merong exponent na 2 ay yung variable y. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. We are given the direction that are mean the vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry of the parabola with the given equations. And sketch the graph and include the points and line. Yung pinapanap sa ating vertex, focus, directrix, and axis of symmetry, they are basically the uh, different information na kailangan natin for us to graph a parabola. So we will start first with the vertex. We need to determine the location or the coordinates of the vertex, but in our case, guys, in our case, as you can see, we have y is equal to 24x, wherein it is the same as the pattern of y squared is equal to 4cx. Na kung saan, kapag ito yung mismo equation natin, the vertex is at the origin. Meaning, the coordinates are 0, 0. Or lagyan na natin origin. Next, i-plot muna natin ito para makuha natin ibang parts. So I will put the origin here. This is your origin, 0, 0. Next thing na kailangan natin hanapin ay yung ating focus. Focus. As for the focus, ang ginagawa ko rito, may shortcut, pero I want you to know how or kung paano mo siya ginagawa para kapag nag-graph kayo, mas mabilis para sa inyo. Now, ang ginagawa ko for the focus is I'm getting the value of 4C. Again, the value of 4C. Your 4C is equal to 24. Para malakit ko yung point ng focus, I will solve for the value of C. Kailangan ko makuha yung value ng C by dividing 4. Both sides of the equation. I will divide it by 4. And now your C is equal to 6. Or 6 units. Yung value ng C natin, yan yung ginagamit ko to locate the, the, the location or the coordinates of your focus as well as the directrix. So, we will start with the focus. Pero, syempre guys, before nyo makuha yung focus, you need to imagine, paano ba yung opening ng ating parabola? Apat kasi ang meron tayo. We have the opening upward, meron tayong nag-open na downward, meron tayong nag-open ng left, at meron tayong nag-open sa right side ng partition plane. Ngayon, sa case natin, since yung ating degree or exponent of 2, is at the variable y, same as number 2, ang mga cases natin ngayon, it's either nag-open sa left or nag-open sa right. Eh sir, paano po ito? Paano po yung number 1? Ano po, sa, ano po siya? Is it left or right? Since 24 is positive, ang opening ng ating parabola ay papunta sa right. So, ang expected, ang expected natin na output, again, ang expected parabola natin, ay ganito. Ngayon, ito logic, guys. Ito yung ating vertex. Alam naman natin na yung ating focus ay nasa loob ng parabola. Ibig sabihin, nandito yung location ng ating focus. So, gamit itong value ng C, which is 6, starting from the vertex, I will move 6 units papunta sa right. So, I will move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Ito ngayon yung location ng iyong focus in which the coordinates are 6, 0. Okay? 6, 0. Now, sir, how about the directrix? 
As for the directrix, again, let me remind you, directrix is not a point. It is a line. So, gagawin natin ngayon, I will extend this kasi mukhang kulang siya. Okay. Kung nag-move tayo, papunta dito for the focus, which is 0, 6, ah, 6, 0. Ang movement naman natin from the vertex, papunta sa left, which is 6 units, because we need to find the direct clicks or the equation of the direct clicks. So, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this is negative 6, ha? Eh? So, we will draw a broken line. Yung iba kasi yung ginagawa nila, they are drawing a solid line. Ako, broken line sa akin. So, the equation of your... Sige, gawin natin standard. Gawin na natin um, solid line. Para lahat lahat tayo parehas. Since a negative 6 siya nakatapat, the equation of your directrix is simply x is equal to negative 6. Now, ano po kang pinapahanap sa atin? We are asked for the axis of symmetry. As for the axis of symmetry, ito ang reason eh, since yung ating parabola, it opens to the right, yung at ating axis of symmetry ay dumadaan dito. Okay? So, kung mapansin nyo, yung ating axis of symmetry is simply the x-axis. So, lagyan natin dito, x-axis. Or, pwede naman siguro lagyan natin x x-axis. Yeah. Yeah, x-axis na lang. Now, sir, paano yung graph ng parabola? As for the graph of parabola, kukunin ko naman yung value ng 2c. So, parang hinahati mo lang to. Uh, divide 24 by 2. Again, 20, divide 24 by 2. Tama? Para makuha mo yung iyong uh, yung iyong dalawang endpoints. So, what will I do? Yung ating 2c na yung dito, yung 2c is equal to well, and I hope na kumasa tayo dito. Well. Wait. I will use this. Well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Dito rin 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, ang natin dito ngayon, guys, yung 2C kasi natin, it will give us the endpoints of the lattice rect 2. So, ang natin dito from this point, from the focus, mag-move tayo na upwards ng 12 units. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ito ngayon yung ating um, one of the endpoints of the lattice rectum. Next, 12 units din pa baba. 1, 2, 3, hanggang 12, dito yun siya. Ito siya. Okay. Ito yung ating second endpoint. Ngayon, pwede na tayo mag-draw ng ating parabola. So, we can draw it here. We can connect this point. Kung yung gagawa tayo ng curve, hindi na kasi sa ating whiteboard. Okay. Yan. Lagyan na lang natin ang arrowhead. As long as yung ating orientation ay pa ganito. As you can see, hindi siya ganun ka perfect, sorry. Pero yung process natin yung pinaka-importante dito on how to draw a parabola. So again guys, importante na alam niyo yung mismong orientation before starting mag-start ng pag-graph ng parabola kasi it will lead you to the different parts of the parabola. Now let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, as you can see, ito, it opens to the right because 24 is positive. Since this is negative, yung opening natin ngayon ay sa left. Okay? So let's start with the vertex. So definitely, your vertex, your vertex is at 0, 0.
0, 0. Lagyan natin dito yung vertex natin. Now, let's move on to the focus. Kung mapansin nyo, since alam nyo na yung pag-graph nung ganong klase, mas mabilis na kayo makapag-graph nito. For the focus naman, we will get the value of C. Yung ating C, yung 4C is equal to 8. Kung nyo yung absolute value nito, in which you will divide by 4 and 4, cancel, cancel, your C is equal to 2 units. So what we will do, from the vertex, imagine that this is your vertex, at yung focus mo nandito. So ibig sabihin, you will move certain units from the vertex going to the left for you to locate the focus. So dito, 1 and 2. Ito yung focus mo ngayon. At ang coordinates ng yung focus ay negative 2, comma 0. This is negative 2, comma 0. And as for the directrix, guys, kung nag-move tayo ng 2 units to the left, mag-move naman tayo sa opposite direction ng 2 units then. 1 and 2. So ngayon, dito tayo mag-draw ng straight line. And the equation of your directrix is simply x is equal to 2. Uh, gawin nyo lang since perpendicular siya sa x-axis, na yung x, tapos kung siya siya nakatapat sa x-axis, which is 2. Now, let's move on with um, the axis of symmetry. Same situation guys, since yung opening natin ay sa left, your axis of symmetry is still the x-axis. Now, pag-graph na tayo. Para sa graph naman, let's get the value of 2c. Since yung ating 4c is 8, definitely your 2c is equal to 4. So what you will do, from the focus, tagdahan natin yung isura natin na, Pupunta tayo dito, pupunta tayong dalawang endpoints. From the focus, you will move 4 units upward and 4 units downward. So we will move 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito nga yung location ng inyong first endpoint ng last rectum. And 4 units downward, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ito nga yun, yung second endpoint ng inyong last rectum. Wherein, we can draw a parabola out of this. So I hope na makapag-create tayo ng magandang curve. Yan. Okay. So. Yan. yan yung ating parabola. Okay. So I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismo video natin. And sana sa tao na request ng ganitong klaseng topic on how to graph this kind of parabola na nag-open sa left or right. Uh, feel free to update me kung nat nakatulong sa yung video natin. And guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!